Hey guys, it's Organic Mechanic at kelpforless.com again. And today we're going to show you our customer and our gardeners and whoever else wants to learn how to make an organic version of tricantinol. Now, tricantinol, we hate the synthetic version. It's been banned um, from products uh, that are used on food crops or human consumption crops or things like that. But still a lot of people try to sneak in the synthetic tricantinol. And we don't like that. If you're an organic or a biological farmer or try to use all naturals, you know the benefits of naturally occurring tricantinol and why it works so good. So we're just going to show you really quick how to make it in small quantities and be able to use on your plants and you see the results. We've seen some real scientific reports on 50% growth, 100% uh, uh, weight, 100% uh, more flowers and buds. Uh, over 200% more lateral branching and leaves. So it's a great product to use, and we're going to be using our alfalfa and show you how to make it because alfalfa is very high in tricantinol by itself, and it's a natural organic version. So we're just going to start really quick here. I got my gallon of water. We're just going to do it one gallon at a time. I've got, uh, we like to pH down our water here. Our water is pretty heavy, so I know exactly how much pH down to put in there. I like to have the water around 7, 7 pH. Slightly lower is okay. Slightly higher is okay. Um, we really want all the enzymes and things to uh, function properly. That's why we pH our water down. Our water is usually about 8, 5 here. It's really hard. has a lot of calcium. has a lot of minerals in it, which is not a bad thing. Um, that is a good thing. But... When we're doing some biological functions and some reactions, we really want it to be a proper pH. So it's about seven. I'm just going to mix it up real quick here, just like that. And then I put one gallon of water, and I'm going to take one pound of the Kelp for Less alfalfa meal, and I'm going to add it to the water. And I like to use lukewarm water. I don't like it to be hot. I don't like it to be cold. I just like lukewarm water. And the good thing about alfalfa meal from kelpforless.com is we work with the grower that grows our alfalfa for us, and he chops it locally. We know it's natural. We know it's organic. We know it's clean. There's no preservatives. Hasn't went through a huge manufacturing chain to make the pellets or the cubes. That's another point. You want to use fresh alfalfa. You don't want to use alfalfa pellets or cubes because those have went through a manufacturing process to hold them together. So I'm just going to dump in our alfalfa. And just let that uh, just sit on top of that lukewarm water. And I'm going to use the Kelp for Less adjustable teaspoon here. It's really handy. I'm going to put this on a quarter teaspoon. And just to help speed up the process of digestion and the reaction, I'm going to use about a quarter teaspoon of our fulvic acid in there. Real easy. And just because we're dealing with something that has a lot of organic matter, a lot of carbon, I'm going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of enzymes the kelp for less enzymes, which that's a lot of enzymes in this much, you know, in one gallon, but you'll see the purpose of that pretty soon. And I'm just going to get that mixed up and get the alfalfa blended into the water really good. And you can do this with a spoon. You can do it with a stick. You don't have to use the drill. I just like to, it's fun to use power tools, you know. You got them, you can never remove them enough you know i got this drill and i'm like man i cannot wait for something to break because i want to fix it so nothing ever breaks so i got to use it for this stuff so I'm stir it up oh yeah that's looking good oh yeah kind of like the secret sauce here at kelperless.com okay and i got a good mix there set this to the side i don't know how well the viewer can see into the bucket, but it is a thick green, uh, you know, concoction in there. Now, a lot of people will just do this and then just go dump it on their plants, but no, you don't want to do that. I suggest let it sit for at least 24 hours, if not longer than that, 48 hours. I, you know, at least one day, but two days, three days of sitting and soaking is fine, but you want to stir it often, uh, so, you know, two or three times a day. Just come by and stir it up really good. Get it all mixed up. You want to keep the, you don't want the alfalfa to all settle on the bottom. So that's kind of why we stir it to keep the 
alfalfa up and um, you know, it keeps the enzymes in there working with the oxygen and the organic matter. And what this concoction is going to do, it is going to release the natural organic tricantanol compound that's found in alfalfa into the liquid. And, and again, after at least 24 hours, if not two and three days, what you'd want to do then is run this through a strainer and collect all the liquid and the strainer will catch all the organic matter. Some people like just to run it through pantyhose. I know that's cheap and easy, but a lot of times it's what you have around the house. And you just want to squeeze all the liquid out of the, of the pantyhose uh, and get that into another container. And that would be the active solution that contains the tricantanol. And once you've got all the organic matter out, you can spray the leaves of your plants. You can root drench with it. You can do a lot of things with it. And because it's made with organic, uh, you know, non-chemical natural substances, you don't have to dilute it down if you don't want to. But some people with larger gardens will add it to maybe that gallon. They'll put it in a 50-gallon drum. They'll maybe add it one part uh, of the tricantanol alfalfa solution to maybe 10 parts water and spray their leaves and whatnot. But anyway, we like to strain ours and filter ours with some kind of screener or strainer and the pantyhose will work just fine. And with the leftover, we love to add that to the gardens. Just take the leftover organic matter and use that as a trop dress. Throw it around your plants, mix it into the soil. Alfalfa has been used for thousands of years as fertilizer. We're doing the same thing. We're just, you know, using it in another form. So none of this will go to waste. You can still use the alfalfa meal as a soil amendment, but the liquid we have, um, it'll be high in tricantanol, and you can apply that every day if you want. We like to add it in with our system at least once a week. We like to always have a couple of these going that we can root drench and spray with. So a real easy way to make organic uh, tricantanol at home, try it on your plants. You won't be disappointed. Uh, any other questions, give us a call or uh, check in with us here at cowforless.com. We sell all the ingredients you need to make this. And until the next video, happy gardening.